I'm going to talk about bonds real quick. There's the argument, should I buy the improved equipment or should I save my money and just use directives? So I would want the experimental optics, which is 4,000 bonds, or you could spend the 4,000 bonds to get, is it 80, 800 games using this, for example? So at first what I was doing is I was using up my bonds uh, on any tank using directives. But at some point I said, you know what, I've got tons of them. I bought like three or four improved equipment. So I must have had 25,000 bonds or so. And some of the, the directives are really cheap. Like the firefighting one is only two bonds. And you should save this. You can see I've won all of these. I did not buy them. Anything with a high, in fact, you know what? I think I won everything. Everything that I have here, I've won, and I've used a lot of them. So you're going to win these directives. I believe now you win it because they have something where, uh, what's I don't remember what it's called, but there's something new that they're doing where if you are on good behavior, you win directives. So what you're going to do is save them, and you're going to use this with your Chinese tanks or any tank that sets up fire. You're going to use these when you play frontline and when you play rank battles, when you want to get a mastery badge, when you want to do one of the campaign missions. Save it for those types of things. Don't use them just willy-nilly on, on anything. Uh, the other thing is you want to be careful when you use some of them because, for example, if I look at a light tank, I'm going to use a T100LT. I'm going to go here. Russia, Tier 10, T100 LT, you'll notice that over here, my camo is 50%. So if I choose camo, it doesn't give me the additional 10%. It gives me the weaker, gives all crew members 100%. And I accidentally use this on a tank that had 83% camo. So you got to be careful sometimes when you apply these. And I advise you not to use auto resupply unless you've got a huge quantity. So is it better to use the improved equipment or the directives? I'm going to say it's better to use the directives. You're only going to use the improved equipment if you really plan to play a large number of games in that tank. You, got, you literally have to be talking about 500 or more games in order for it to make a difference. So let's do the, the, do the math. Experimental optics is 4,000. The this is is eight is the cost. So we're going to take the 4,000, divide it by eight, and that's 500. So it makes 500 games to make the improved equipment equal to the directive. And you can buy the directives at a discount. If you go to the store and look at the directives, there's bundles. It's slow because I'm I'm international. I'm in the Philippines, so and I'm playing on the U.S. server. Okay, so if you go here and look for like some sort of a bundle for directives, here it is. If you look up the prices, it's cheaper. How do we do it? This looks like the regular coded optics. Okay, this is the one. No, this is it. Okay, so if you look at this, you get a discount. You get the experimental optics plus the optic, optical calibration. Normally would cost you 4800 so you're getting a 500 bond discount. So that's why you want to buy bundles. I recommend you buy something like this. Let's see if we can find the cost of this. Over here, it's eight to buy one. Is there a bundle? Are these the bundles? Okay, these are the, we've got show all bundles. And then we're going to go here. You can see the hundred, if you buy a hundred, instead of getting them for eight each, you get them for 7.2 each. So there's a discount when you buy them in a bundle form. So choose very wisely when you decide whether or not you use these. 
Choose wisely in how you acquire them and choose wisely what games you use them. Look for the discounts, browse through them, practice with them. The other thing I'm going to say is they're not the big, amazing game changer that you might think it is. Okay, so we're going to look at my tank. This tank is probably maxed out. It's got six crew skills. Optimize any way that you can extend the view has been added, including vents, coated optics. We're going to go over here. and we're gonna, I've tested different options like vents and, and coated optics and whatever else. This gives you the best view range. And then we're going to come down here and we're going to look at view range. And notice what it says for experimental optics. It says plus 55. If you use the regular optics, I believe it's plus 50. You get a five meter advantage. That's 30 feet. And for venting system, I believe you get a, is it a four meter advantage? It's really low. And you look at the directive, optical calibration, it's 11 meters. How far is 11 meters? 11 meters might be um, 50 meters is your proximity spotting range. So if your proximity spotting range, you know, 10, my, 10 meters might be the distance between my tank and this rock. So adding this, which costs you this amazing number to get that extra two and a half percent view range lets you view this extra distance it's not the huge advantage that people think it is but when you combine this with this with this then you get like an extra 50 meter view range which does make a difference in the game and if you do it it's actually more like a 25 meter additional view range and if you do it um with a Rheimatol Scorpion, you're going to get the greatest view range. So if you do it with a wheeled vehicle, you're not going to get the greatest advantage. Not only does the vent improve the view range, but it also improves your recon skill, your situational awareness skill, your brother in arm skill. Those three things are improved when you use the venting system. So you do get a little bit more that might not show up in the numbers. So that plus 12 for situational awareness might really be a plus 11.5 if I didn't have that venting system in there. And the same is true. Brothers in Arms improves a lot of things. Coffee improves a lot of things. And the list goes on. So the smartest thing to do, decide which directives you love. Go buy a bundle. Use it on any tank you want to, whenever you want to. Uh, these, like I said, long-term, that's a really long-term purchase. You might have to go 500 games before you get the advantage. I think I'm going to pull off 500 games. Let's, we're going to go to my service record, and I'm going to go to vehicles, and I'm going to go to battles. And we're going to look up that tank. Here's France. Okay, that's Tank Destroyer. So we're going to look up Light Tank France. Light Tank France. How did I miss it? There it is. You can see I played 120 battles. I'm sure a fraction of them were with the improved equipment, possibly only half. Let's see what it says for Grand Battles. Rank Battles. Um, Okay, but of these 134, many of them may have been months ago the, from the previous ranked battles session. Okay, I think I'm going to get up to 500. I'm, I think I'm going to get up to the break-even point, and I enjoy playing this tank. Not playing it because I want a crazy win rate, playing it because I enjoy playing it. If I wanted a crazy win rate, I would play one of these tanks. Okay, if you have any questions or comments or want to post how I'm completely wrong, please post below.